Yenisei is a 5-star healer who is highly focused on defense. From shielding, reducing allies damage received and enemies damage dealt, as well as granting immunity to the entire team, Yenisei has all the tools possible to help keep her team alive. Healers are in general extremely flexible, and Yenisei is no different. She is easy to slot in almost any team, which may lead you to wonder, why should I choose Yenisei over other sustained characters? The answer lies on the specialty of each healer. Using some examples, Tooth Fairy is ideal for critical-oriented teams. Totebi is a key character for poison teams and can also be useful to counter certain boss mechanics. Medicine Pocket and Ezra Theodore can increase the offensive capabilities of your team, and so on. Then, what about Yenisei? The answer is simple. For her unique arsenal of defensive tools, which are even more impactful in the notoriously squishy Star of Flatus. Now, let's dive on those tools and what makes them great. Yenisei's inheritance, overprotective, reflects well her personality and gameplay style. Glow is her base mechanic and understanding it is key to playing her effectively. In short, every time you use a rank 2 or 3 incantation, Yenisei gains 1 moxie. At Insight 3, using a healing incantation also grants her Empower Incantation 1, making it even easier to keep her skills effective and cycle her ultimate faster. Flow can be obtained when entering battle and by casting ultimate. Action Taker is a straightforward single-target attack with low multipliers. Its main utility comes from rank 2 and 3, when it can lower the target's damage dealt by 20 and 25% respectively for 2 rounds. Prioritize using it on enemies that deal the most damage or have the most attack cards lined up. Words of Horror may not seem great at first, since it's a single-target healing. However, it has extra utility in the form of the sturdiness buff it grants, as well as the fact that it gives an extra healing to the ally with the lowest HP percentage. Thanks to this, Yenisei really shines on 3 people teams, and is perfect when you are using characters who require some HP management, such as Charlie. Another benefit from this skill comes from its scaling. It scales with Yenisei's max HP, so naturally your Waterkeeper will be quite tanky. The Rapid Snowball is an ultimate that grants a chunky shield to all allies and, more importantly, immunity for one round. Tired of dealing with annoying debuffs and team wiping mechanics like Gorgon's Freeze? Then time this ultimate wisely and you have the key for success. As the saying goes, better safe than sorry. And in this case, better to avoid crowd control than having to purify it later. Time to talk portraits. Like most characters, Yenisei works fine at portrait zero. She can be obtained on the till the last drop limited banner. If you are really unlucky and really want her, fear not. Each summon in Till the Last Drop grants a cassette of the Lost that can be used in the limited shop and you can buy Yenisei copies with 50 cassettes each. Considering that you get 10 free summons by just logging in, then you are guaranteed to get Yenisei by spending up to 40 summons. If you get her early, or if you are doing more summons for Junianzu, but don't want to go all 200 summons for an extra dual portray, you can safely get Yenisei to portray 2 or more. The great thing about her portray 2 is that you begin battle with an extra stack of flow, making her cycling easier and smoother. On a last note, despite having her debut in a limited banner, Yenisei is not a limited character. She will enter the standard pool on patch 1.9. Beyond Wonderland is Yenisei's best in slot Tai Chu, as Yenisei's healing and shield will scale with her max HP. Also, healing can crit. Her second life is another viable option, since it gives a decent amount of HP 
and a passive extra layer of healing every time Yenisei uses her ultimate. Lastly, that inquisitive deer and take the hard journey are budget options. Chances are that you may already have that inquisitive deer build. While Take the Hard Journey is a decent 5-star Psytube that, despite having lower stats, can grant a hefty 27% healing bonus under the right circumstances. As mentioned before, like most healers, Yenisei is very easy to fit in most teams. Here are some examples of how she can make a difference. Yenisei's flow, sturdiness, immunity, and shield all count as positive status to amp up Junyan Zhu. Furthermore, since 37 is very squishy, all the defense aspects of Yenisei can save lives. Literally. An example of Yenisei being a game changer to give a refresher on older characters who fall behind due to being squishy. Charlie is a classical example, but this team can work with other carries such as the already mentioned at 37 and Lilia, Blone, Matilda, and others. Ezra is a support option here as he can amp up the critical damage of these characters. But other buffers are welcome as well. Low rarity characters struggle with their low stats. Ego may be powerful, but it's also extremely squishy. Once more, Yenisei's defensive kit comes to the rescue. If you are a beginner player or just like these characters, there are countless ways to use Yenisei to enable them by ensuring that they will stay alive in the field. As always, thank you for watching. If you want to support my work, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I also want to give a shout out to all channel members for the continued support. That's all for today and see you next time.